The experience of directing, guest directing the Brighton Festival has been fun. It's been a really social experience and a really positive one. I think that presenting my work in my hometown is a great privilege. I've learned a lot from doing it, particularly with the, the performance piece that I made called Problem in Brighton. When you're an artist and you make work, sometimes the people who you know and who you live alongside don't always get to see what you do because you usually do it somewhere else. So it's been really nice to show my work here, but also really nice to, to make some work here. My highlights of the festival have been Brett, Goodroad's show, which obviously I had a lot to do with putting on. Brett's a really amazing painter. He's never really been seen outside of the United States. He actually invited me to do a show in San Francisco this year. And I thought, well, I'm the director of the Brighton Festival, so why don't you come and show here? That would be a great opportunity. Always flattered to be asked to be um, in the Brighton Festival this year. Fantastic. I had no idea what it would be like, but it's, it's great. And it's sunny. It's nice. Yeah, it's, it's a beautiful city. I can't believe you guys do this every year. Deer Hoof are a rock band from San Francisco. I made a record cover for them maybe 10 years ago. I can't remember now. They're a fantastic band. They're a band whose music is great on record but really makes sense live. You have to see them live. They were near the top of my list of bands I wanted to bring. Shrigley asked us to play this festival personally, so that was like really fun. But then this uh, European chamber group called Stargaze got invited to play the festival as well. It occurred to them that they should <laughs> commission me to write a piece for them to play. They asked me to, to, to arrange this entire Fugazi album that I literally had never heard in my life. My response, of course, was yes, absolutely. I'd love to do that, so. <laughs> the festival is always a voyage of discovery for me. I think it is for most people. Probably my favorite thing was a tractor which was the Australian-based dance company with Indonesian musicians, which was just really, really unusual and really crazy. It was really my kind of thing. That was definitely my highlight, and I had no idea what it was going to be like. Of all the things I saw, that was probably the one thing that I'll remember, and we're definitely going to see again. She ties off her hair with a pencil. Her touch is so gentle, so definite. I was in Hangleton at your place. So it was great to go out there and just meet people and see what a great resource they have there in the community facilities. But also, I think it's really important for the festival to have a presence throughout the city. You can't really expect everybody to come to the centre of town. So it's good to have a lot of different venues in a lot of different parts of the city. I feel uh, actually extremely moved to be back here. What a special thing to just have for you know a few weeks in the summer, it's great. I hope it just continues and I hope people continue to be excited. We decided to perform our new album. It won't be out till next year. I think the higher the stakes are for you, the higher they are for the audience. People kind of can see that you're kind of a little bit rattled by <laughs> deciding to do such new work. It felt like the right thing to do. I guess I'm still discovering Brighton, but I feel like this has been sort of a fast track to discovering the city and I, I've learned a lot in these three weeks. To have a festival that celebrates and presents the arts so well and so thoroughly is, is something very positive. I think it makes a real change in people's lives and it's a real, it's something to be treasured.